my name is Ahmed. Uh, I am 30 years. I uh, I was uh, like a farmer and volunteer also in Habiba for uh, for four years, and it was experience uh, to how we can uh, regenerate, uh, regenerate the soil for uh, for give the healthy uh, healthy and productive uh, plant. And in the same time to transfer the whole knowledge you can help the community around how uh, exactly we can help the environment and help this soil. Yes, uh, regenerative uh, farm project. It was a it was a project we started to um, exper experiment help this uh, help this area. Uh, or help this community to uh, to create a, a, a real agriculture uh, uh, project or agriculture work in this in this place, and looking more for uh, what the challenge facing us in uh, in this place. Uh, uh, if it's about environment, about temperature, about the water, and try to work on this and make some experiment to help us to see what kind of way or what kind of method we can do it in this area to do. Uh, a healthy uh, soil and healthy environment to grow more and more uh, with a way to help the ecosystem not just to grow and to, to was more to develop and regenerate uh, this this area and this soil to be more productive more healthy and stay for generation and generation and generation through this experience we, uh, we met a lot of experts uh, and a lot of volunteers around the world coming and give some touch for this place, regenerative, uh, Habiba Regenerative Farm, and uh, give uh, also some information and some knowledge. It was helpful for me and for everybody. It was, uh, it was close uh, for this project. And, uh, and in some moment, it was a big, uh, big add or big value when we was... Uh, connect with ecosystem restoration and I also take a scholarship with ecosystem restoration. It was an uh, amazing thing in this project, regenerative farming, about uh, to how we can transfer the knowledge uh, we get it and uh, transfer this experiment we do and, and working with some way uh, how we can uh, share this with uh, with Bedouin community. It was a it was a challenge, and at the same time, it was it was part of uh, of our mission to uh, to do this practice as a regenerate the the soil and uh, and show this and or transfer it for the Bedouin. And it was it was easy to keep everything open for them. Uh, they can visit the, uh, visit us in the in the farm. It was a farm totally open for anybody buses. To the place and they started to, to be curious and coming and looking even it was weird for them to see a lot of uh, a lot of different and strange practice in farming or in agriculture for first time for them they see uh, this way of growing and this way to how we can help the soil and how we take care so much about insects about the worm about compost about the organic matter to take the, the scrap from the street go to the tree and take the dry Material. It was this movement happened in front of them. Agritourism is uh, something very helpful for for what uh, he do as a community, as a as a to help uh, his community and help the Bedouin community too. Because uh, because here um, in Egypt, uh, uh, Egypt very poor from this for this uh, this way of, of tourism, you know. Uh, here is traditional tourism or, or normal tourism is you can see everywhere clear but to listen about agritourism or to see someone uh, really do agritourism uh, uh, in some place here in Egypt is, is, is not easy no? uh, Magid after he looking for this way for agritourism and he started talking about it, even me I was don't understand and don't know in beginning what is the meaning of this how I can make a farming and put this farming with uh, tourism uh, and have this working together, it was uh, impressive. And uh, 
I saw this. Yeah, it's very useful and it's, uh, it's very unique and, and and something new for Egypt. You know, and agritourism helped to put everything together and to make this diversity and put all this color to create something unique and different uh, from other other way uh, of uh, normal tourism. The challenge facing the plant or facing uh, agriculture method in in Nueva is uh, is the water and the, the temperature and the soil. I wait for Habiba and for uh, Bedouin community and Nueva and Sinai at all uh, to uh, to looking for this area so well and through this uh, uh, region we can change a lot of things for whole country and for humanity too, not just for country. And, uh, and this it will help the community also, the Bedouin community, because the Bedouin community wanted to feel uh, involved with uh, other people in, in another village. Uh, they don't want to feel anymore, they're alone, they don't. and we need support. And I wish support for Habiba and for the community and for, for Sinai at all, you know. This is what I wish.